Hello guys, this is the Swatter Guy here. Welcome back to some cartel market news. Uh, pretty much it's not the cartel market news, but it's pretty much the new pack opening slash review about the Dread Warlock. Yeah, Dread Warlock packs. Now, also there are some really, really good discounts are going around as well. For example, uh, the Aikion uh, or Icon Blaster. I don't know how to pronounce this. Akion, Akion, whatever it's called. So this blaster, if you're checking out how much is this on the GTN, if I wrote this uh, down, it's uh, as you see, eight million on the GT uh, and the GTN is absolutely amazing. Also the Texan armor set, which is uh, really really popular today. A lot of people desperately wanted to get this one. Like, uh, if you're just checking out uh, the robes in general, just the simple robes, uh, it's 10 million credits. Like, that is amazing. And you can get now uh, for 650k or cartel coins, 650 cartel coins, pretty much. But now let's look ahead. And I'm gonna buy the new Dread Warlord. Before I'm gonna go and open it, I'm gonna review it for you guys or preview it, what's actually in the new packs. And uh, things like that. So we have the Dread Warlord. Obviously, we had the uh, Tight Sabers. We had the Titanian Discipline Armor Set, uh, which is uh, actually looks uh, all right, if you ask me. I don't know if this has a uh, flourish in it on the mask or something like that, but it looks really, really amazing. Like, oops. If I just wanted to go, it's like rusty and everything. It just looks really, really fantastic, if you ask me, guys. That armor set looks really, really good. We have the Gifted Shadow armor set, which I think this or uh, this is gonna be like one of the my new favorites, especially the star in here. That looks really, really amazing. Uh, but in general, overall. Uh, that armor set is just fabulous. If you ask me, guys, this is in total the armor set. That, without the headpiece, possibly, this one looks fantastic. Definitely wanted to get this armor set. We have the Disguided Warden armor set. Now, this one is... I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. Like, I'm, I'm really not a big fan of this armor set. I think I saw this one before, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I'm, I'm definitely not a fan of this set. I'm, I don't like it at all. And uh, we have the Kukri uh, uh, Intimidator. I think this one definitely has uh, a flourish, some kind of flourish in it. But it's it's another pot racer and things like that. And it looks kind of alright. Uh, we have the Fierce Thuvasar. Or Thuvasar, yes. Now, this one is just also, I'm not a big fan of it. I think I saw a million creatures before, and this one is just, I'm not a big fan of it. The Art Attack Ivory. This one is like the, like, uh, without pretty much no things, like no colors and things like that in it. It's just like a more uh, simple Art Attack. That's why I pretty much like it. The Inferno Devourer. Now, this one I actually like. I don't have this uh, too much, and I didn't see it that often and I really really love this one I don't know what's this like it's it has some flourish bit in the back I don't know what is that exactly but it, it looks fine if you ask me we have a uh, new two sabers which is the instructable uh, now this one is just a pretty simple one same goes to the dual saber I believe uh, if I just go wanted to check that out really quickly, it it's just a solid one, especially the dual saber looks fantastic if you ask me guys and obviously indestructible uh, in Instructable sorry cannon which is like pretty much like a minigun uh, and it's uh, rotating stuff like that. I'm, I'm not a big fan of these <laughs> Uh, we have the Radiant Green Crystals. Now, this one is similar to the back in the day, the, uh, what is it called, the Ragu one. It's almost the same, so it's pretty much like a reskin of that. Uh, we have the Fashion Check. Now, I don't know how this looks, but I definitely wanted to get that out. I think this is like a selfie bot or something like that. Uh, but it's it's nice, I believe. 
uh, we have the volatile weapon tuning now this one one I desperately wanted to get like this weapon tuning in general is just turning your saber into kind of a saber staff or like a, a vibrosaur dish it looks fan fan fabulously tastic it's just amazing we have the phantom rake which is like a pet and not a lot of people fan of the pads, but I am, so I definitely wanted to get this one. Same for the uh, manga. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the mangas or the or mangas. Sorry, sorry. So this one is all right. We have a new platinum uh, bowcasters, which this one looks uh, like uh, pretty nice. It also has some flourish in it, like uh, rockets here and things like that. This one is is fine, if you ask me. I don't know how it's gonna. How much is going to worth on the GTM? We'll see. And we have a new uh, operator requisition uh, droid, which is pretty much like uh, a Grievous droid, if you ask me. And some decorations, which I will uh, not show it, but hopefully... What just happened? Uh, hopefully it's, it's just... I'm, I'm going to get some. So let's get into this Dread Warlock pack opening. Super crate, obviously. Every time I'm opening a super crate... So let's get into this. Hopefully I'm going to get something good. Five items for this. Now, this one is, has some pretty recent changes uh, before I'm going to go in. Now, the, the most definite thing is going to be the scrap and the gift. Now, you definitely guarantee you're going to get a gift or, or uh, a, pa a pack item uh, from this, this particular pack. But on the other hand, it also have a chance to receive every single like item on the cartel market so it's this one is pretty much like a chance cube opening or something like that but enough chit chat let's go see what i'm gonna get from the first ones so it has the imperial cadet and the ds10 star forge so this one is pretty much like as you see uh, these are from the old ones so these are not from here and this one is the new one so the radiant green so it's definitely guaranteed you're gonna get a silver item. The others are might gonna be bronze or something like that. So as you see, you get the Muja fruits, the Mystic, an unformed deep blue, a Flagmanon, which is I think it's all right, and uh, this one. It also has a die. This one it has new dies as well. Okay, I guess okay. We got a rare, which is the Titanian Discipline lower body. Nice. And the Muttled Blurg. And the uh, Pats. I mean, uh, Azmat ZB4. I'm not really a big fan of that. Now, this has the Network Security Monitor. Uh, this is not from this pack, as you see. Empowered Shuffle and uh, the Distributed Warden Lower. Let's open these individually. I'm not gonna get big stuffs out of this, so I've gotta get another deep blue i got a dueling banner which is an old one and the medical shell wing i uh, so this one i think it's from this pack so i guess it's kind of okay so i'm just gonna take a look obviously the new items are not in the gtn now but i'm just gonna look ahead some of the old items how much i actually received from the old items so this pack is might gonna change a lot of stuff and I like the changes what they making so far so pretty much you can get like uh, armor sets here as well so you can get like a, a Satil Sean armor set and for example a tight lightsaber so that is not that bad at all so if I'm just gonna check out obviously the titanium discipline is not in here the radiant is obviously not in there the distributed warden is not in there the empowered shuffle was definitely in here and it's worth 550k so that is nice the manan standing is not from this pack as well as 850k which is not that bad and i actually don't have this uh and uh, it looks it looks nice it's just a manan one these ones obviously not here this one is a bad one 500k i mean not that bad uh let's see the this one 20k yep this ones are what are you talking about? And Dueling Banner, 30k. Uh, the Imperial Cadet armor set, as you see, I got an armor set, 850k. Not that bad. Uh, I think this one is uh, from previous packs, 285k. Medical shelving, there was none in the market. Nice. Uh, 
the Motlet Blurg, 50k, and the Network Security Monitor is 490k. So I believe in total it was uh, not a bad opening at all. I received some uh, old items back, so it pretty much makes the economy system like uh, kind of solid. Not gonna say like rock solid but uh, some of the items you can get from this packs and finally uh, you not gonna open any more chance cubes because in this packs you can have uh, a chance to receive old items here so this one is uh, I think this is where we're gonna see the cartel market changes I like it so far and as you see it says one pack exclusive item draw from mounts and vehicles armor loot boxes weapons crystals stronghold decorations tuning rests uh, and recharge pets dies and droid companions two items randomly draw from the west ray from cartel market items or a grand chance cube so obviously you have a chance to receive a grand chance cubes but the grand chance cubes are going to be rare now so that's why it's going to go up in price obviously a tier five or six and scrap metal so uh, you're going to get two items which is from previous packs and uh, uh, you can get anything so you can either get a Reaver Armor set in there, a Satil Shan, and after that, a Titanium Lightsaber. So this one is maybe going to be the ultimate uh, Cartel Market pack. And if we're going to see similar to these, that is nice. Because at the end of the day, you they don't need to release the old packs back. Because we're going to get it in here if you are lucky. Obviously, it's going to be still RNG. But I like the changes so far, what they're making to the Cartel Market. Anyway, that was it for this... Uh, little preview to the uh, Dread Warlord pack. I definitely like this one. Uh, especially like old items. I really love to get old items as well in the game. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this little uh, short preview and pack opening. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.